At Fast Tech, we're gonna bring to you a very disturbing repair. We have a PS4 Pro here that's sent in by a customer through our mail-in service. And this PS4 is infested with cockroaches. How do I know this? I know this because number one, there's cockroaches sticking out of the system as you can see here in the front. And also one on the side that fell out. Uh, and also the system doesn't turn on. It's plugged in, but there's no beep, there's no power. And that's because these cockroaches, they like to nest in the power supply. As you can see in the back, there's a couple that fell out um, right over there. And uh, they like to nest in the power supply, uh, which is on the, on the back here. And it's easily accessible and, and it's a warm spot. So these critters like to crawl in through the back here and they like to nest in the power supply and then they defecate uh, and urinate in the power supply and that causes the power supply to go boom and then the system stops working. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be uh, replacing the power supply and getting this PS4 Pro to work. Let's get started. We're gonna unplug the console. We're gonna stick our fingers in and then we're gonna lift the cover off. I'm just hoping there's no live ones in there because that has happened in the past. Jesus Christ. So yeah, there it is. It's all uh, defecation and dead cockroach parts. A lot of it is dead cockroach parts. <laughs> TH under the hard drive cover and we're gonna lift the panel from the sides and the bottom cover is gonna come off revealing even more cockroaches yes sir and FYI guys we generally don't take cockroach systems there is a very premium fee to be paid for this job if we do find cockroaches in your system for us to proceed we do charge extra which this customer agreed to pay and then there's an extra premium charge on top of that if you want us to disassemble it down to the main board and heat sink and get all these critters out but that we're not doing today because that's not what this customer paid for he only wanted it to be functional again and most of the cockroaches like to nest in the power supply and that's what causes problems anyways so we're only going to be replacing the power supply i really regret not having gloves for this right about now all right now we're going to remove the screws that hold the power supply in On the other side and I think this one here as well and the power supply should be free okay power supply is gonna get lifted out like that we're gonna remove this connector at the front lift it out for ease wiggle and pull and it should come out now this is where most of the cockroaches are gonna be nesting I think most of them tried to escape during shipping and they probably got starved because uh, due to COVID this particular system was delayed. So we're gonna be tossing this one out and putting our replacement power supply in. This is a cockroach free power supply, which you can buy on our website. Link's gonna be in the description box. And if you use uh, the coupon code YouTube, you can get a discount. So we're gonna be putting this power supply in by connecting this connector here at the front like that connecting this connector and then you're going to want to line up 
these two pins, you want to make sure that these are lined up in here. And then we're going to push the power supply in. And at this point, we're going to make sure that the system turns on before we close everything back up. So we're going to plug the power cord in and we're going to press the power button. And at this point in time, it should turn on just like I predicted. All right, we got a white light. So that means it's booting into the operating system. I do kind of feel bad for this poor power supply. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, we're gonna be reassembling this thing at this point. Some more cockroaches falling out. Let's give it a tap. Get them out of the heat sink. All right, there you go. So full of cockroach shit, but the truth is guys, we're never gonna get the smell and the little cockroach shit out of there. It's always gonna smell because once it's infested, unfortunately there's nothing you can do to get rid of that smell without seriously damaging the system. So we're gonna put the power supply back in. We're gonna reinstall the screws that hold it in. I am not cleaning all that cockroach carcass, uh, especially when customer only wanted it fixed. They didn't pay the extra service. And frankly, I'm happy because I don't want to be doing that anyways. I'm going to put the screws back in. That hold the power supply in. We're going to install the top cover back on. Flip it over. Put the Torx T8 screws back in. Reinstall the bottom cover. The front goes in first, like that. So then you pivot the back on. Like that. We're gonna install the Torx T8 screws back in. And we're done. I'm gonna plug it in one more time to make sure it still turns on. Yeah, let's see. It should turn on obviously again. Is turning on so that is another successful but disgusting repair from fast tech like the video if you liked it subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you in the next one